Easter is just around the corner and I am already prepared for when the Easter Bunny arrives for my kids. Hey guys, today I am sharing what is in my four kids Easter baskets. Since I do have four and there's quite a lot of stuff here, I'm going to try to be as fast as possible. But if you guys have any questions where I got anything, you can just leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to remember where I got this stuff because I am constantly picking up things over the course of the year, putting them. I have a big box in my closet that I just leave random things for. So I'm ready for holidays, for birthday parties, for just, you know, a surprise for the kids. It's a gloomy day. We need something to have a little bit of fun in our lives and that kind of thing. So a lot of this stuff I have already had waiting in my closet and I just put it together. So I am excited to share it with you guys. Now, I just want you to remember everybody's family has different tra traditions. Everybody celebrates Easter in a different way, different religions and all of that. So I am just going to show you what the Easter Bunny brings. Also, you guys, this video is a collab with quite a lot of other awesome mommies. So I will have the playlist down below. Rachel from Day to Day Joys asked me to be a part of this collab. So I wanna thank you, Rachel. This is a lot of fun. So I will have her channel and then the playlist for everybody's videos down below that you guys can check out and get tons of different ideas and see how families do Easter a little differently all around. So make sure you check that out after I show you guys what I got my kiddos. So I do have twins, they are five and they are getting something, their baskets are very, very similar, just minor differences. So I am going to start with the youngest, Pearl. And I say youngest, she's one minute younger. Pearl has a couple eggs in her basket and I have a trash bag full of eggs that I have had for a year. Some of them are new from the Dollar Tree last year, the Dollar Spot, but the majority I just I just use every single year. Now, I'm not sure yet if we're gonna do an Easter hunt, so I did go ahead and put a few snacks, candy, in the kids' Easter baskets. So this first egg, I actually just have three stamps in here that I got in a package at the Dollar Tree, and I separated it between three of the kids. So that's what's in this egg. And then these three eggs just have a variety of candy in them. There are the Tootsie Roll eggs from the Dollar Tree. I bought a bag of those and separated them. There's a lip sucker, like a bunny. It has a little bunny nose, so when they have the, it's almost like a pacifier. You put it in your mouth, a little lollipop, and it looks like you have a bunny nose, so that's in here. Then there is this little burlap bunny bag that I bought in a pack of four at the Dollar Tree, so each of the kids has one. And in here is also a mixture. I think there's a couple of the Tootsie Roll eggs. There are these little carrot sugar cane sticks that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And some little Easter packages of nerds because my kids love nerds and we never ever buy them unless it's a holiday. Like we always add nerds to their baskets. They kind of expect it now. So that's what's in this cute little Easter bunny bag. I found these at Walmart and I grew up on Kinder eggs. I mean, I was overseas for a while. My parents are military, so I did live in, live in Germany. And I used to get these every single holiday in baskets, in like friend bags and all sorts of stuff. So I thought it would be cute to give some to my kids. And if you guys do not know what Kinder eggs are, it's just a hollow chocolate egg with a little toy surprise in the middle. Then I saw these and I thought they were super cute. My girls love blind bags. I mean, what younger kid doesn't? And they really are enjoying the Hatchimals. So I saw these Hatchimal gummies and I thought it would be cute. It says gummies and one sticker sheet. And this was from the Dollar Tree as well. Another thing from the Dollar Tree, if you guys did not know, I'm constantly in the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. This was actually a three pack, so my three younger ones have each of one of these. And it is the popping candy with a lollipop. So this one is strawberry flavored. Last little candy snack item in my kid's basket or in Pearl's basket is of course a chocolate bunny. I think every Easter basket should have a chocolate bunny. And this one is actually from Walmart, but you can also find it at the Dollar Tree, the same exact price for just $1. And I got them the cookies and cream. Now for the non-food items. So I didn't tell you where her basket. All of their baskets came from 
the Dollar Tree because I like them to be able to reuse them. They do have personalized pails that they use or buckets that they use for Easter egg hunts. We do one with our family, um, but if you guys are curious to see what those look like, I have a vlog channel as well, so I'm actually doing a couple extra things on Easter that I'm going to be sharing on the vlog channel, and that is always in the description. So this cute little bunny actually came from the Dollar Tree. It is super, super fuzzy. I think a really good quality for just a dollar. And it smells like chocolate. And it, it really does smell like chocolate. So I think my kids are gonna get a kick out of that. I got her a bath bomb also from the Dollar Tree. She loves bath bombs. My girls love to take, not necessarily, like they love to take baths and get clean, but they love play baths, like where they just get in to play with toys. So bath bombs are a lot of fun for them. And this is the very, very pink one. Another thing from the Dollar Tree, not everything is from the Dollar Tree, but a lot of it is. Um, I actually got a pack of four of these. So each of my younger kids has one and it is just a little tube of bubbles. I found this at Target in the dollar spot. It was only a dollar and it is, they are calling it, what are they calling it? Putty with a mermaid. So it's kind of like slime has a lot of sparkles in it and then there is the tiniest mermaid figure inside there from Walmart this is probably it is the most expensive thing in this bin um, and it was under seven dollars I think it was six and change that is a lot but the kids have really been loving squishies and I have not purchased them any yet so I thought this would be really cool it's big enough to where it's not just gonna be some little thing that gets lost somewhere it's pretty big the girls have a play kitchen that they got for christmas so i thought this would be cute and i got this this is the series one series one ultra squishy soft and slow and i just got a huge cupcake okay also from the dollar tree is this blind bag and these are really cool i've seen them hauled before but i've never purchased them i have never opened one and it is called a yo-yo surprise collectible mystery charms and it is either a lip gloss, a lip balm, shimmer, charm, surprises, and more. So I thought that would be really cute for the girls to open. I got another couple blind bags, balls from Holler. Um, this one is actually a viewer egg. So you can look through the hole there and on the top, can you hear that? There's a little clicker. And if you look through it and do the clicker, it shows a different scene from Beauty and the Beast. And I think there are jelly beans and stickers in here as well. Then I got a Care Bear blind ball and there's just a little small stuffed animal in here, one of the Care Bears. Also from the Dollar Tree, because the girls love to take baths, this is bathtub, bathtub, bathtub finger paint soap in pink. Dollar Tree, I got the girls a puzzle and this is the one that I picked up for Pearl. It's a 24 piece shimmer and shine and it is a tower puzzle. From the Dollar Tree, my girls love arts and crafts. They love anything that is very hands on. So I try to get them a lot of things that they will enjoy. And this is the frozen finish the sticker scene. So it has three scenes, one sticker sheet and three crayons. I really love that. So they can try to match the stickers up on this sheet and then use the crayons to color in everything else. And last thing in pearls, I found these at Walmart just under $2, and I thought it was really cool. The girls really enjoy bubbles, and this is Glove a Bubble Wave and Play. So the bubble solution is, is included, and it looks like they just put this on their hand like a glove and dip it in the bubble solution and then just wave their hands around. I thought that would be a lot of fun and perfect for springtime. That is everything in pearls. So now roses, like I said, is very, very similar. So let's try to get through hers quickly. She has the same four eggs. Well, they're not the same, they're differently, but the same things inside them, candy and stamps. I got her a Kinder Egg as well. Here is number two of the three pack of the popping candy with a lollipop and hers is green apple. I got her a Hatchimals gummy and sticker set also. She has a burlap bunny bag with the same candies in there and her chocolate cookies and cream bunny. So I got her a chocolate scented bunny as well, just a different color from the Dollar Tree. She's got a small pack of bubbles here or one little tube. Like I said, it was a four pack. So I got her the petty from the Dollar Spot as well at Target, but hers has a unicorn figure in it bath bomb but it's different hers is called over the rainbow she's got the same care bear blind ball 
She also has a viewfinder egg, except hers is frozen. Bathtub finger paint soap in purple. The same exact blind bag from the Dollar Tree. I'm hoping they are different in here so they can share their charms. I got her a squishy as well. Again, this is just under $7, the most expensive thing in their bin. And I got her this really adorable ice cream cone. So she got a puzzle as well, except Rose loves Peppa Pig. So I got her this puzzle on the go. It is still a 24 count. Picked her up a sticker scene as well. I just got her Moana. A glove a bubble with a lion. Lions are her favorite animal. So those are my twins Easter baskets, what I put in them. So now I'm gonna show you my middle child Bryce and he is seven. So Bryce's basket looks very, very similar to the girls, although his does have a couple things that are a little different. He does have the same four eggs with the candy and the stamps in them. This is the third piece from the pack from the Dollar Tree of the popping candy with the lollipop and his is blue raspberry. He's got the same burlap bunny bag with the same candies in it. A Kinder Egg. The Hatchimal gummies and sticker set. And the chocolate bunny and cookies and cream. I also went ahead and got him a chocolate scented bunny as well and I got him the dark brown one. He's got one of the bubbles and the fourth one I'm actually just saving and I'll take out over the springtime. So he doesn't really take a lot of baths, but I thought he, his favorite color is red, so I did get him this same bathtub finger paint soap. It's actually called Radical Red Raspberry, and I thought this would be fun in our blow-up swimming pool over the summer. I did go ahead and get him a squishy, and I thought he would get a kick out of this. It is brains. So he is not getting a puzzle. I actually got him this dominoes game. I guess it would be nice if I was holding it the right way up. And it is a set of 28 Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 2. And this came from the Dollar Tree. Also from the Dollar Tree, I got him this little Nerf ball with the arrow on it. I actually saw when we went into the store, there were a couple kids right outside the store playing with this and I knew he would love it. It looked like they were having so much fun, like they had no problem tossing it, it was flying through the air. So I picked up this red and orange one and I really think he's gonna love it. He's got a couple different blind bags in here. I got him this one from Holler. It includes a sticker, candy sticker, a memory game, and surprise toy, and it is Hot Wheels. I got him a viewer egg as well, and his is the Marvel Avengers. And then I saw this, and I've never seen these before. He loves Minecraft, and I thought this was really cool. This is a Minecraft spawn egg, so I thought he would get a kick out of that. Another find from the Dollar Tree, this is a sound machine. So I think there is a little piece, a little tab on the back for the battery, so it doesn't work right now, but I'm hoping when I open it, there's a tab and I can pull that and then it'll work. But it doesn't say what sounds it makes, it just shows pictures, but I think he's really gonna enjoy that and think it is very funny. I found this, it's called Bolts from the makers of Meccano, eight years and up. Tools are included. So he is seven, but he and my husband can work on this together if he can't figure it out on his own. And it is just a race car. I thought that was really cool that he could create his own race car. And then I got him the bubble thing as well. I think he's gonna get a kick out of it. And I got him the dinosaur one. That is everything in my son Bryce's basket. And now I'm gonna show you guys my oldest. Her name is Paige and she is 13. So she does not have a lot of the same things. Hers is very different, although the candy and I'll just show you guys, there are some similarities. So she has the same exact bunny burlap bag with the same exact candy in it. I got her the same chocolate bunny and cookies and cream. She is not really huge on candies. She likes other kinds. She's more of like a chip person, a salty eater. So I did go ahead and pick her one more candy up. And this is the Russell Stover Assorted Chocolates. I got her a squishy as well just because of what it was. She is going to love this. It's a koala bear and a little coffee or teacup. And if you guys have watched the vlog channel or any videos that she has been in on this channel, you know this is totally her style. Okay, so I found this at the 
Family Dollar, I think. It was $5. She loves black and white. That's a lot of the decor and colors in her room. So I thought this was really cool. It says notes to self. I don't know if she could actually write on this. Um, it feels like just contact paper, so it would be permanent. But it does have three little clips that she could add either pictures or little notes to herself, like it says. But I think she is going to like this. I found her a book at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is hit or miss in the book department, but I really think she's going to enjoy this one. It's called A Water Song Novel Title by Amanda Hawking. Sticking with the koala theme, I found these at the Dollar Tree. It is a three pack of socks, black and white. There's a little bit of pink on this one. The middle one is just white and gray, and the third one is black on the heel, and there are gray polka dots all over it. Another thing that is black and white is a picture frame. So right now, the day you guys are seeing this, I just put her on an airplane. She is in China for spring break with her school. It is a school function trip, and I thought I would go ahead and get her a picture frame so she can pick the best picture that she took. I know she's going to come back with a ton, but she can pick her most favorite picture and put it in this frame in her room. I got her a pack of nails at the Dollar Tree and she really likes these unique shaped nails. So these are the kind of more pointy ones versus these ones are also from the Dollar Tree and they are the squared tips and they're shorter, but she really likes these ones. So I thought those would be good for her. It has a little black and white either X's or crosses, however you look at it, all over it with a nude background. Also from the Dollar Tree, I picked this up. I thought she would get a kick out of it. It is a phone holder and it is just two hands with thumbs up in white. I picked this up a long time ago. I want to say it was winter time when I found this at the Dollar Tree. It is the smallest lip balm I've ever seen. It says lip, scented lip balm cuties in vanilla and it is by LA Colors and it is a little fox. Her being a teenager, I did go ahead and get a set of the Bolero products for her. Now, I did not find these at the Dollar Tree. I actually found these at Family Dollar, so I spent a little bit more on them. I think it was $2 versus a dollar, but I got her the facial wipes. All of them are the purple in lavender and chamomile. This set is a body cream and body scrub. This one is a body wash and bath soak. And then I got her the three pack of mini bath bombs. Another Bellero product, I did find this at the Dollar Tree, and this is a anti-aging paper mask, which obviously she's 13. She doesn't need anti-aging, but she does like paper masks, and I thought she would enjoy the pomegranate and goji berry. And then the last thing in her basket is this coffee cup or tea, she drinks both, or hot chocolate. This is so, so adorable. I know she's gonna love it and be super excited when she sees it. I found this at World Market, and it is just, it has a black handle. It just says meow, but wait until you see the inside. Are you ready? Actually, let me hold this part. Ta-da! There is a little cat inside there. I thought that was so cute. It's standing up on, you know, it's all four paws, just standing straight up. And I thought that was super cute and she's really gonna get a kick out of this when she sees it. So that is everything that is going inside your baskets, but I do have a couple things that are gonna be just out on the table or whatever area it is set out at in our house. So I wanted to share those as well. I ordered these off of Holler. They are just inflatable Easter eggs. So I'm, I only got three of them because I mean, my oldest is not gonna care for this. So I got three for the younger ones. That's why she has more stuff in her basket than the younger three. So I got those, I'm just gonna blow up and have them set out. Then I bought these from the Dollar Tree and I love this because I'm gonna be able to use these next year as well. So I got four different prints because I have four, four kids and I wanted them each to have a different print. And these are two packs, so I'll be able to use one this year and then the other one next year. They are just basket bags and like I said, they each have a different print. So this is what I'm gonna use to kind of contain everything in their basket. So I got that print, and then that print, that one, and that one. I think they might have had one other print, but like I said, I only have four kids, so I just got four packs. I found these at the Target Dollar Spot, and I'm also gonna just leave this set out on the table, and it is a Bunny Tail Toss Indoor Play Balls. There's 10 in here, 
but wait until you see what I got these to go in. They are going to have so much fun with this. So I do have four of these, one for each of the kids, and it is called a bunny slingshot. So it is just a slingshot that looks like a bunny with its ears, and it has one of those little fluffy balls. So that's why I went ahead and got this extra pack because each of these only comes with one. And the last thing that I'm going to have set out around the table are two packages of the Cascarones eggs. And all this is, it's a real hard shelled egg, but there's nothing inside it but confetti. These are so much fun. Very, very messy. I would definitely, unless you just have an open area in the house that you can easily sweep this up, I would do this outside. We typically do it in our driveway so we can easily just suck it up with our shop vac. But this is a lot of fun. The kids have a lot of fun with it, and we try to purchase these every single year. Okay, you guys, that is everything in this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I tried to be as quick as possible. Originally, I was going to separate this into separate videos, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to combine it. I have four kids, and it was just easier for me to do it this way. So I'm hoping it's not super long. If you guys like seeing what I am giving my kids for certain holidays, or I actually have another one coming up for the summer, I'm going to make them a summer basket. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are looking forward to that. Make sure you check out the playlist down below for more Easter basket stuffer ideas. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I do try to get a video up every single day, so hit that subscribe button on your way out, and I will see you guys again tomorrow in a new one. Bye.